I'm officially missing the cow. Not good, because I'm always freaked out that she's going to get on the main road. Oh gosh, it's so snaky at the moment. Seven eggs. Her kids' eggs. Make some lunch now, and I thought I'd just share this recipe with you guys. Perfect. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, she's chasing it. Well, it's a super hot day on the farm today, and there is smoke everywhere. We've got major bushfires going on. They're a couple of hours from home, but the smoke is getting pretty intense. Like it's, you can probably, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah, the whole area is smoky as. A lot of people have lost homes and stuff already, and it's only literally just the start of spring, so it's gonna be pretty nasty summer. I reckon they say it every year, it gets worse. Like every year they say, oh, it's gonna be the worst bushfire weather on history and it is and you know is it global warming whatever you want to call it it's pretty crazy that it continually happens every year it's getting drier and drier as you guys know i've started the beds down there that's happening i've got the pitchfork i found found a second one that i had so that was good i didn't have to go and buy one so i'm going to try and get down there at some stage but we're looking at rearranging some of the fencing in this area here we want to take this fencing out that comes through here even though we've just got it to a point where we've kept the horses and the cow in well i haven't seen the cow this morning now that i say that and change it so it goes around this fig tree because this fig tree is full of bats at night but that's why i'm out here i'm going to have a quick look at this fencing and see if there's a quick way of doing it the march flies are out or bot flies they are those big flies that get around and they come out every spring they're slow and they're not much good because when they get on you they just bite you straight away so not a fun time when spring comes because all the bugs come out I'm officially missing the cow I've just done a walk of all the paddocks and I can't see her anywhere so I don't know where she's got out. Oh, this bit of fencing here is... Oh. Just looking at this fencing here. Not sure why this one's been done. Oh, she shouldn't be able to get out of there, really. And I haven't heard from any of the neighbours, so I'm not too sure where she could possibly be. Normally, one of the neighbours will let us know that she's got out. She has been contained in these paddocks for, wow, probably four days or something like that now which was the best because normally she would definitely get out within the first night so the barbed wire had been working but she has disappeared i've got a disappearing cow and it's not good because i'm always freaked out that she's going to get on the main road and something will happen so i better keep looking she could be up the mountain there i don't know so guys i bought roof out to check out where we're thinking about running this new fencing and find a cow. Also find a cow. She's <laughs> finished fixing the fencing and she's been contained for four days like or something. Four days. So that's what I said, yeah. I don't know. It's really odd. But, but normally the neighbours are straight on to us about it and let us know if she's around their properties or I'm gonna have to have another good look around. She might be in our front paddock, hopefully. Let's, let's go for a walk and have a look. Yeah, Come all right, on. let's go. So we're checking all the fences down in this bottom corner, <laughs> but it's actually quite hard to vlog and watch for snakes because oh gosh it's so snaky at the moment um but yeah we're checking down the bottom corner of this paddock because there is a gate there that she could possibly get out and then there's a chair oh that's your chair is it just coming down here near the terrace beds uh so she's definitely not in this paddock and we're worried that she may have got out down the bottom so we're going to go check out that the other gate that's near the road is shut at least. If she is out somewhere along here, um, we can at least stop her getting on the road. So the gate's shut down there. She's not in there. Can you hear those kookaburras? They're la I always think when I hear a kookaburra they're laughing at us. Good chance of laughing at me. <laughs> I'm coming up to the top of our dam. It's actually a dry bed, but when it absolutely is torrential rain, this thing actually fills up and overflows down this path and then down into the creek. That's the, the river there. So I'm hoping she might be up in here and it's not the case. Bugger. So yeah, this fills up to the top. We've swam in there before. It goes all the way down there. That fence down the bottom goes underneath the water. 
I'll see if I can see her at the neighbor's property. No luck. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to quickly go down to the front paddock for a walk. It was a bit interesting last night. Like we haven't actually sighted her all morning, but last night the dogs were barking a lot in the paddock. I hope she didn't get out last night. So we just found the cow. <laughs> She's at the neighbors again. Somehow. It's, it's funny that we didn't like think to go there straight away, but it's because we've had the fencing fixed. We, that was the last place we would expect her to be. I put, we <laughs> put so much new barbed wire there, I didn't think she'd have any chance of getting through there. So I wasn't really concerned about her going down there. But she's got out of the main paddocks where we have run new barbed wire and oh, gosh. she's back in. So I've got to go and get the halter and lead rope. Yeah. And cow. I don't know what to bring do. her back. I don't know what to do with her. Well, she's a tricky one, but she just loves people. That's the hard part. So yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Like you don't plan for these things, and then you spend all your morning looking for a, a, cow. a cow. Quick car, uh, chicken pit stop. Got to fix their water and some chicken feed. Seven eggs. We're just walking past the chook pen and we thought we'd just quickly make sure they're okay. So they're hanging around the pen like they don't want to leave. So we thought we'd just quickly check their water, make sure they've actually got enough water, which they do, but Blaine's just making a fresh batch for them. Because chickens, fun fact, well, it's not really a fun fact because it's kind of like, it's just a fact you need to know. Chickens actually dehydrate very easily because they get really hot and they overheat. And in this hot weather, you need to make sure that they've got lots of shade and lots of water. So hot tip, always make sure your chickens have lots of water. One of the baby ones. Is <laughs> yeah, all well, these little ones. They're tiny. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven eggs. They're kids' eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they so cute though? They're tiny. Oh, Jake likes them too. What are they, Jake? Like eggs. eggs. You like your eggs? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chooks are happy. Now it's back to cow wrangling. Oh, yes. I kind of put that out of my mind for a minute. But... <laughs> no. We still on. have to go and collect her from the neighbours. Yes, yes. Put her back in the paddock. <sighs> yep. Tie that one bit of fencing off. There was one little bit where she may have lifted it and got out so yeah it's a bit loose up near the water trough mm. cheeky cow she'll find a way yeah, where there's a will must, there's a way I must just go along and just test everything and then all of a sudden she was on a mission it's actually really cute it's actually no. really what it's not cute no it's actually really cute because she loves our neighbors and she goes down i swear she goes down for cuddles yeah she goes down for cuddles she goes and... down for cuddles and to play with their dog but yeah, it's just so cute. And they're so nice about it too. Yeah, so. that's the one good thing that we have friendly neighbors around. But Cut as through. I said, we were, that was the last place we expected her to be this morning because of the fact that we thought we were onto the fencing. Yep, well, four days, that was a record. I thought definitely problem solved. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Here she comes! Mini Moo! Oh, I've missed you! Hello! This thing is like Harry Houdini. Yes. It's Hello! Hasn't got a mark on it. Oh. I literally touched the barbed wire fence. Oh. And I get this. Ouch. And look, she has not got a mark on her. And she's been through the barbed wire fence. Oh no, they're fence. so clever. How do you do it? Look at you. Ouch. How do you do that? I don't know. You'll have to ask Minnie. Hello, beautiful girl. Did you go for a visit next door? She was just hanging out his front door <laughs> while he was sitting there and I was talking. <laughs> Having a little conversation. Oh, wow, Minnie. His dog was inside crying, wanting to play with her. Aww. Come on, let's put you back in the paddock. How pretty is this wisteria? And it smells amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's chasing you. <laughs> she's playing with you. That's funny. 
See, cows actually are so playful, especially young ones. Oh, you do love cuddles. Oh, she's so beautiful. Like a bit of wire so I can tie this up. This is where I think she might have. Yeah, it's pretty loose. I'm going to drop this one. Yeah, make it a bit lower. Look how dry this ground is. So what are you up to, Bri? I'm going to make some lunch now and I thought I'd just share this recipe with you guys because you might be interested. It's just a super quick veggie sausage roll recipe. I'm just making it up as I go really, but I've got some, some tinned lentils and chickpeas here that I've rinsed because you need to rinse them. I've got some onion which I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to put some garlic, like a clove of garlic in here as well. Hey Coats. What's this mum? That's the uh, thyme. What's this you do mum? It just makes it yummy. So I've got a clove of garlic, pop that in. Alright so I'm going to whiz the garlic and onion up really quickly. I don't even know, I just ran them. <laughs> Right, so I've got some rosemary here. I just thought I'd use some rosemary for something different. Just to, sage and rosemary is sort of something they use a lot of. So I'm gonna use probably, I don't know, just a few sprigs of that. Give it some yummy flavor. I love rosemary, it's so good. Just chuck that in. And some thyme as well. Let's break it up. Does it matter what thyme? You put that in? No, Glenn, it doesn't. So I've whizzed that up a bit more. Adding some oil now, because I'm going to saute that onion and garlic. Push it down again. Soften up the garlic and onion. Make it hot. And I'm gonna do it for like, I don't know, two minutes. Okay, so that smells amazing. So I'm gonna add these, the chickpeas and lentils in and that's like three cans worth of some salt I like the salt some pepper and whiz it up a bit more just made it into a bit more of a mushed up consistency or like that and that's pretty much the stuffing for the sausage rolls Pretty easy. Looks yummy. You could Smells add all amazing. sorts of different spices and you could pretty much add whatever you wanted. You could make them Mexican flavoured, you could make them curry flavoured, whatever. But I just thought a bit of rosemary and thyme, garlic, onion, can't go wrong. So I'm just using sheet pastry and I'm going to cut it in half like that. I've defrosted it, let it do its thing. You just literally pop in the stuffing like that. And then you roll them like that, cut them in half, good to bake. Now don't we put a bit of milk over the top of them? Yes, yeah, so, and we put milk on top so they don't go really like burnt or you know, they, they go nice and golden brown. So we just use a bit of soy, soy milk, milk or yeah. almond milk, whatever's like you could use normal milk or like an egg wash. If you had eggs, you could do that as well. And then we just bake them. I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. they look like when they're done. Perfect. Pretty good. Can't Pretty wait to try it. <laughs> what has happened? It's a wheel broke down. We've got a flat wheel on the car, haven't we? That's not good. I must get another one. It can't really? try though. It can't try. Not really. We'll have to pump it up and take it to the shop in the morning. It's a slow leak. How else put this funny wheel. Wheel. wheel? Yeah, so we're going to have to get that fixed, aren't we? Push it, Dad. Come to shop, Dad, on the road, Dad. Well, we won't push it. We'll drive it. But we'll, we can change the tyre over. We've got another one in the back. So we can change it and take it to the shop and get it fixed.
it's the best time of the day, isn't it, Lil? The afternoon, the sun is setting, and we've got our routines of feeding animals, watering the veggies, and just having a nice little wander around the property, don't we, Lil? I mean, animals. Animals, yeah. Animals. What's the peacock say? Is that what the peacock says? Well, it sounds a bit like that, doesn't it? So we're going to water the veggie garden, aren't we, Lil? Mum's going to do a bit of work with her horse, Kaz. And sun is going down, as you can probably see here, um. through the trees. So Lily and I just watered the veggie garden and of course my little mate behind me found a hole in the hose. What have you been doing? Look at me. You found the hole in the hose and look at how wet you are. We've got to fix that don't we? You don't want to fix it because it's too much fun isn't it? Look how wet you are. Look at this poetry in motion over here guys, this is very impressive. Getting good, isn't he? He's keeping his distance when he needs to. Yeah, but I'm, ask, I'm bringing him to me and asking him yeah. So it's been a, just a cruisy yeah. vlog, Great. hasn't it? Day in the life Day sort of. Day in the life vlog. Uh, yeah, like I said, we had things planned, but it didn't come together like that. I checked out the fencing. I need to get a star picket remover because they're in a bit too heavy. So, so tomorrow, fencing. So the plan was the fencing that we came out and had a look at. I need to get a star picket remover to try and make life a little bit easy because they're driven pretty far into the ground. And I don't want to bend them. I want to pull them out and reuse them. So hopefully that's on tomorrow's agenda. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get up nice and early again. I'm going to get up at five, get out, beat the heat. And get, some get some fencing sorted so we can rearrange these horses. Look at this crazy girl, <laughs> she's tired. Alright. So that's where we are going to end today's vlog. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, don't forget to live, love, and respect. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>